all over again. <laughs> Every town has an Elm Street. <laughs> all right. First up here we have Diana Barrows from Friday the 13th, part seven. And she wrote here to Will, need a little touch up work my ass. Cheers. She was cool. She really stood out, uh, I have to say out of all the people that I met there, uh, I have to say she's definitely in the top five. <laughs> she was really cool. Um, when, when I went up to her table, first thing I told her is that she looks exactly the same. Little touch of work my ass. She thought that was awesome. Uh, you'll see in the video of me meeting her, um, me saying that to her. And uh, she also, I guess she wanted me to send her that video so she could have something to show the producers. I guess maybe she's trying to get another job or something. But So we swapped a couple emails and she said she got it. So good deal. Next up we have Monica Kina from Freddy vs. Jason and she wrote to Will, go to hell. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> um, I was uh, in line for her and her line was pretty long at the time, I think this was on Saturday and uh, it just so happens uh, uh, Chris and Teresa, Casey Jones, uh, came up while I was standing in line and and uh, we were talking some and uh, I uh, happened to see that uh, uh, Meg Foster's line was actually hardly n anything at all. It was like one person there and I really wanted to get her uh, out of the way and Monica Kina as well but I couldn't do both. I was only one person so uh, Chris and Teresa were nice enough to stand in line for me uh, for Monica Kina while I snuck over real quick and got Meg Foster so awesome thank you Chris Teresa once again for doing that for me I really appreciated that okay next up here we have Joe Whip from the original Nightmare on Elm Street in this picture posing here with John Saxon uh, he wrote uh, to Will best wishes. I believe this was his first convention. Uh, he was pretty excited to meet everybody. Uh, I went over there and I was just like, wow, I mean, this guy, yeah, he didn't have a huge part, but I mean, he was in the start of a something wonderful. And he's, I mean, he pretty much, as far as I'm concerned, helped kick it off the whole series of Nightmare on Elm Street. So. It was a real pleasure meeting this guy. I told him, uh, hope to see you in the next Nightmare, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movie. And he, he just kind of, he just kind of laughed. He's, he's like, yeah, he'd do, he'd do another one. He said if they'd have him, but uh, who knows? <laughs> Alright, next up we got my man here from Subspecies 1 through 4, Anders Hove. Uh, pretty cool meeting this guy. Uh, <laughs> you heard down in here too, Will. Love Anders Hove. <laughs> and uh, I was showing uh, Kate Chris, Casey Jones, this picture. and he's like, He took a double take of that. He's like, oh, what, what does that say? Love? <laughs> so, there you go. Yes, I got love from Anders Hove. <laughs> I had said to him uh, if uh, he found his bloodstone yet, because it always seemed to be a problem in the movie. He's always either had to find that bloodstone or lost the bloodstone or had to go get it off somebody else. Or <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty funny. He said he still couldn't find that damn bloodstone. And, uh,. That they, I asked him about his voice too. My like, God, uh, you have a, a a voice left over after all those movies. <laughs> and uh, 
he said uh, that uh, well, the, the fourth movie was actually his real voice. So he was just kind of kidding. Because he said pretty much from all the other movies that his voice was damaged <laughs> at that point. It just sounded like that naturally. He was funny though. Next up here we have Cassie from Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Everybody knows that picture. And there she is, Bobby Joe. She is really hot <laughs> still. Uh, I went up to uh, uh, talk to her for a little bit, asking her uh, what it was like uh, acting with uh, and, and meeting Bruce Campbell. And uh, she said that he's just an absolute honor to work with. I hope to meet Bruce Campbell one day. That'll be really great. Kind of put a collection together of Evil Dead or something like that. But um, yeah, when I took a picture with her and just stood next to her, I mean, she is so thin and just beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I love this girl. And here he is. Leatherface himself, the original. Mr. Gunner Hansen, you're next. Finally got to meet this guy. I went up to his table and I said, uh, wow man, I'm like, you're 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 like the uh, you you started you started that whole thing off, man. You're the you're the you're the you're the man, you're the original. And he just kinda laughed and he's like Yeah, everyone keeps reminding me. <laughs> I mean, me. Yeah, I was just in my, I was just in my glory at the time. So it's just like, wow, you know, I'm just speaking my mind at that point. But yeah, cool guy. He actually uh, has a book coming out as well, and right at his signing table, you were able to uh, sign the book that he had there and put your email address down so he could uh, send out the notification to everyone that his book is released or get some kind of notification. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. All right, next up here we have Lisa Marie. To Will, love Lisa Marie. Uh, this picture is in, uh, of her in that Sleepy Hollow movie with uh, Johnny Depp, where she played Johnny Depp's mother. Uh, she had multiple multiple pictures on her table. She had that uh, Aliens Attack uh, picture of her. She had that big honey, uh, what do you call it, beehive looking <laughs> uh, thing. Large head, I guess you could say. Um, she was, uh, I really kind of, I really liked her. She was very different. She was kind of quiet. She kind of looked around a lot. And I spoke with her a little bit, but you could barely hear her when she spoke. It was kind of unusual. It's, I liked it though. It was cool. Um, apparently there was somebody at the convention that, uh, asked her out like five times or so. And, uh, in the Q&A session, he actually stood up and asked her out one more time in front of everybody, and uh, I don't think she was going for it. <laughs> and someone even asked her to Q and A to do that uh, that uh, Mars attacks uh, walk that she does, and with her eyes and her movements, but she wouldn't do that either. So it was it was hard to get her to do stuff, <laughs> but. She was she was cool though. She actually said that she studied with a, a mime or was trained with a mime for a while to do that uh, that role in Mars Attacks. So um, pretty cool. I liked her. Next up here, we got Stacy Nelkin. Hope I'm saying that right. There she is. And she wrote, Two Will. Where would you like me to sleep, Dr. Chalice? Peace and love. <laughs> I think that line right there, I missed it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's, I think her actual line was, where would you like to sleep, Dr. Chalice, and not where you would like me to sleep. But um, still, hey, she wrote it good enough for me. 
uh, the first thing I asked her when I went up to her is, uh, how's Dr. Chalice doing these days? <laughs> and she was laughing about it. But no, uh, said he's doing real good. And, uh, I was saying it's a shame that he couldn't be here this time. Because I, I, I've seen him in past uh, conventions and uh, and whatnot out there. That they, I've seen them at the table together. So it would, would have been cool. Uh, maybe if I ever uh, see, him, see uh, Mr. Atkins here. I could get his autograph on here as well and that would be awesome she was real interested in where people were from kept asking us and how we're enjoying the convention so really sweet girl All right next up here David Prowse he played Darth Vader here he is it was really cool meeting that guy. Never thought I'd get to meet Darth Vader himself. Uh, the guy, he's getting, he's getting older. Uh, I think he was, he had some kind of brace on his leg when he was walking around, uh, and I think he might have had a cane of some sort too. But uh, he, he's getting older. And uh, first thing when I met him uh, at the table and he was signing I told him man you got you had some fantastic lightsaber battles man <laughs> and I'm sure he's heard that a million times already but I just wanted to say that to him so uh, this picture seemed to be the one of choice uh, there are a lot of a lot of different pictures on the table there of uh, parts that he's played in various films um, but uh, you know this is this is pretty much how uh, the outside uh, cardboard stand they had out there was pretty much a Darth Vader. So, you know, everybody's pretty excited to see this guy. His line uh, was never short, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Okay, there he is. Next up, Anthony Michael Hall. To Will, all the best. God bless. Anthony Michael Hall. Really cool. Never thought I'd get to meet this guy. Uh, I, I gotta, ex I gotta say, I, I didn't know what to expect uh, when I first met him because I just hear uh, just a bunch of mixed things out there. Some about him. Some things good. Some things bad. Um, I guess you pretty much have to be the judge when you meet him, but I'll tell you what, uh, I just met, for meeting him for the first time, he was a really, he was a really awesome guy. Really nice, uh, seemed interested in what you had to say. Uh, so, you know, he, he's, he's got my, he's got my positive vote. <laughs> um, it was, uh, I think, uh, when I was just going to get his autograph, well, first of all, I looked at the line, uh, during that weekend uh, and the day before that as well and it was just so long I'm like wow it's gonna take me a while I'm gonna probably do have to do him last or something but uh, I rolled in on uh, to seeing who else I could jump in a line on, uh, on to get their autograph on Saturday and there was no line for him and I couldn't figure out why it was but it turns out he was going to his Q&A session so I didn't really know this so I just stood up at the table and uh, you know he was more than happy to uh, sit down and uh, sign my autograph and you know, get some video taken of him and uh, take a picture with me so uh, yeah I was able to get that in right right before his uh, Q&A session so that was really cool awesome guy you know I also uh, know, you know this picture right here he's in uh, the movie Edward Scissorhands but you know, he'll always be Rusty Griswold to me from National Lampoon's Vacation. <laughs> he, he was the ultimate Rusty, in my opinion. <laughs> he had a bunch of pictures on his table uh, from National Lampoon's Vacation, too. So, Pretty cool. I'd love to get more, but yeah, that's okay. Maybe next time. But there he is, 